For me, it was the completion of a dream and a hope that I have for all children. We needed to figure out a way to use our outdoor environment and make it a classroom. The children became a part of the process. We took down a fence, we installed a pathway, and instantly the children started to move more. We've added a, a pollinator garden, so we are able to attract insects and butterflies, and we have birdhouses. We have set up centers so that they can have items to capture and observe nature. There's art, there's science, obviously, there's math. It's a part of what we do every day. Our children plant their food, they harvest it, they were part of the preparation of the food, and as a result, they eat their food. We operate in a food desert. It just makes good sense that we would create a culture that um, fresh food and access to it is the norm. One, our cook staff, that our garden is a resource for them. Currently, we are harvesting all of our lettuce. We're able to share that in the classrooms, teaching and cooking opportunities, and then we have enough surplus that our families are able to take a package home with them for dinner. We talk about building brains, but we're also building palates. So that early exposure, they begin to crave it. And our children extend that excitement into their home. So we're finding our parents expanding their vocabulary about food and items that they're willing to try. We have to do the bigger work. And if we want to make an impact on a generation, it's going to be in the area of health. There are pieces of this that everybody can do. And with the help of others, all of it. We knew we wanted to make an impact to the community that we were serving. And that is an underserved group of families. And we wanted this to be a place that they could come and that it would be hopeful and that they could see that there is opportunities to do anything that you want to do. We want to say that we changed the culture here. I think I see blueberries.